Question number 6. The curve C has equation y equals 4 upon x plus k where k is positive constant. Sketch a graph of C stating the equation of horizontal asymptote and the coordinates of the point of intersection in the x-axis. This question has 3 marks. They want you to sketch this graph y equals 4 upon x plus k. It's a reciprocal graph. So I'm going to start with the basic reciprocal graph 1 upon x. So x and y prime. This will be our reciprocal graph 1 upon x. This is 1 upon x. And then if you sketch 4 upon x, the same graph, sketch a graph a little away from the origin. So now our 4 upon x will be somewhere here. You don't need to plot any points as long as it's a bit away from origin, that's fine. This is our graph 4 upon x. Now 4 upon x plus k, k is a positive constant. That means you are adding a number to the whole function. When, that means when you replace a function by f of x plus a, in chapter 4 we learned when you add a number, the graph will be shifted, translated upwards a units. So this whole graph is going to go up a units, but we don't know the value of a. Take it as just k. So now we are going to shift this graph upwards a units. So let's say, uh, not a units, k units. So this is 0. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't know the value of k. So let's say your k is here. All we know is k is a positive number. So just draw a dotted line here. Because that's going to be our horizontal asymptote. And then shift this graph here considering this new new line dotted line as the x-axis so your graph will be this maybe you can drop this thing in the old graph so this is your new graph that's it we don't know the value of a k, value of k but they want you to your, your vertical asymptote is the same, y-axis or x is equal to 0, the equation of y-axis. And the horizontal asymptote is y equals k, the equation of this line. And label the graph, it's y equals 4 upon x plus k. And how about this point? This point. We don't know this point, right? If they ask you to plot this point where the curve crosses the coordinate axis, when a curve crosses the x coordinate x axis, the y intercept will be zero. When you replace y is zero here, your zero is four upon x plus k. Bring the k here, minus k is four upon x. So swap them, your x is four upon minus k. We don't know the exact value. But we know this point is 4 upon minus k. Just write 4 upon minus k. It will differ according to the value of k. So that's it. We have sketched the graph and plot the point where the curve crosses the coordinate axis. And the horizontal asymptote is y equals k. Part b, the line with the equation y equals 10 minus 2x is a tangent to the curve C. Find the possible values for k. This question has 5 marks. Okay, now, you are given another equation, y equals 10 minus 2x. This is a linear equation and this straight line is a tangent to this uh, reciprocal graph. Tangent means the line touches the curve at exactly one point. So we know for sure when you combine them, your b square minus 4ac will be 0 because the line touches the curve at one point. So equate them 10 minus 2x equals 4 upon x plus k and form a quadratic function. Multiply everything by x. 10x minus 2x square equals 4 plus kx. 
I'll put everything to one side of the equation. You will have 2x square and plus kx. 10x goes here, it becomes minus 10x plus 4 is 0. Or take as a, x as a common factor, 2x square plus k minus 10 into x plus 4 is 0. Now take the values of a, b, c and substitute here. Your a is 2 and b is uh, k minus 10, c is 4. Substitute here b square minus 4ac c equals 0 because the line touches the gra graph at only one point so our discriminant will be 0 expand this k square minus 20k plus 100 minus a minus b whole square 4 twos are 8 8 fours are 32 is 0 so your k square minus 20k plus 68 is 0. Now we have a quadratic function, quadratic equation. Solve this equation, you will get 2k values. So we are going to solve this. Your k is, I'm going to use the formula method, minus b, so it will become positive 20 plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac a is 1 c is 68 divided by 2a so it will be 20 plus r minus square root of 20 square is positive 400 minus 4 times 68 240 4 eights are 32 272 if i'm not wrong divided by 2 and we simplify further 20 plus r minus square root of 8, 8, 1, sorry, 8, uh, 1, 2, 8, so 390, 400 divided by 2. Maybe we try to write it as a 4 times something, so we can take, we are trying to take 2 as a common factor. You don't want to do all these things, you can use, plug in the values of A, B, C in your calculator. It will give you straight away give you the form insert form uh, the values of k insert form so it will be 10 plus r minus 4 times uh, 3 4 are 8 4 32 4 square root of uh, 2 square root of 32 because 4 times 32 is 120 so take 2 as a common factor and cancel you will have 10 plus r minus square root of 32 that's it if you want you can write it as a 32 can be written as 16 times 2 16 times 2 32 can be written as 10 plus r minus 16 times 2 and take square root of 16 out you will have 10 plus r minus 4 root 2 you always need to write your answer in the simplified form so your k will take two values, 10 plus 4 root 2, 10 minus 4 root 2. You, you should have learned certs clearly. In certs in chapter 1, we have already learned how to simplify certs. So apply the method, write it as 16 times 2, square root of 16 times square root of 2, square root of 16 is 4. So this is the value of k. That's it.